Hi, just a quick second channel uh, follow-up video on that uh, dumpster, mystery dumpster skin, spoiler alert, um, skin uh, treatment uh, machine that I found in the dumpster and tore down and this little uh, embedded PC found inside here and how we took a look under the uh, hood here and it appeared to actually, even though it had like Celeron um, on the sticker on the bottom, it actually looked in here and it looked like an Intel Atom uh, CPU. So anyway, just plugged in a moose here and a uh, USB stick and of course it's got a VGA output so I don't have to use the uh, header connectors here to connect to like the custom LCD. You can of course, but uh, yes, yeah, standard VGA output. So it's uh, 12 volts uh, DC here in a, for a DC uh, barrel jack and Bob's your uncle and sure, hang on, and sure enough I power this thing up and Ta-da! I run uh, CPU Z on it, and sure enough, there it is, an Intel Atom D525. Uh, core voltage 1.08 volts uh, for those playing along at home, 45 nanometer process, 1.8 gig, and uh, it's got a pass mark of like uh, 570 odd, so it's not going to set the world on fire, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool little Intel Adam, a nice little, um, you know, old, but uh, still uh, fairly useful embedded PC. I hadn't uh, have a look at the memory yet. How much? Oh, it's only got two gigs, so, you know, it's not much, but you can probably uh, expand that. I'm not sure what it'll uh, go up to, but to be filled by OEM. <laughs> it's got an AMI uh, bias, but Adam uh, Hostbridge, NM10, Southbridge, um, <laughs> to be filled by OEM. So, yeah, it's just a generic um board like it doesn't come from a mainstream manufacturer they didn't even bother to program that stuff i guess in the uh bias uh wherever it's getting that from but uh yeah there you go and uh graphics in it it's just got it looks like uh, just the embedded intel graphics does it i don't know about the intel atoms and uh stuff like that but yeah that's all that's in it and uh oh well we can run 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 the benchmark here we go bench the cpu and uh we'll once it's done, we'll be able to give it a reference. I'll choose the lowest uh, lowest common denominator. But yeah, this could still be a, a useful little uh, embedded PC. I lost one of the uh, one of the little uh, met, um, in threaded embedded like the threaded inserts down here. They go into the PCB. I lost one. One fell out. Um, so I don't know where that's gone. So uh, you know the mount might be a little bit how you doing, but it's got a um, nice spongy. Um, thermal stuff in there so that's cool anyway yeah here we go reference oh no we don't have oh reference uh no we don't it's not going to let us do a reference is it oh i don't know it's always given me the ability to do a reference there i'm not sure why not is that because it's too low and i don't know anyway um yeah it's got a, a two core i think it is or a two threads anyway uh, no sorry four threads two cores yeah so, there you go. Isn't that cool bananas? Little Intel Atom board. So don't believe the sticker on the bottom of uh, dumpster stuff that you see. And uh, yeah, because it said Intel Celeron. But yeah, I could do, of course, nuke the uh, hard drive, put a little solid state drive in it. Unfortunately, little piss ant fan in here, little whiny bugger. Um, so that's, you know, it's really annoying. But of course, you could uh, replace that with a, uh, you know, a better, like, uh, passive um, heatsink solution because I think it's got a TDP of like 13 watts or so so you know yeah um, maybe you'd have to sort of would you have to custom engineer a thermal solution or could you run it just like that I don't know anyway um, yeah cool it's more than uh, was on the uh, dumpster sticker that's for sure catch you next time